Welcome back to Closing Bell on the 5th November 2020. The election is still on a standstill despite the fact that Biden has an 85% chance of winning and the bookmarkers are still insisting that Trump has got a 15% chance of winning despite for all the allegation about the suing them to federal court. But let's watch what happens and let's focus on the stock market because this is what this channel is all about. I want to bring everybody back to last Friday, last Thursday when the stock market was crashing. It was falling so fast that you all, many were overwhelmed, including myself. We were going, remember these words, remember we were going, some of myself including saying, why did I not sell stock X or stock Y a week ago? Why did I not take my gains and now we're falling, we're losing loads of money, this is my hard earned cash. And now on a Thursday, we're going, oh, why did we not buy more then? It was an easy one, easy to call. So it's normal, it's perfectly normal to feel that way. But I want to bring you to the bad, okay? When I say the bad, are the bad stocks that you are holding. You might be trying a bit of a risk. You might be tr taking a bit of a punt, trying to buy this high risk stock. And then caught out by surprise, this stock fell so heavily on a Friday. But you've been given a redemption. You've been given a second life in a short span of four days. Some people have to wait years before they see the stock recover. But you've been given a redemption if you hold any off an injured stock. Four days that have recovered and perhaps consider, consider, consider taking profit or selling it off and move to a better quality company. Let me give you a few examples. A few examples in my own opinion. This is my own. Don't be offended if you think I'm wrong. Everybody's got their own research. So first one, Visa. Visa had a bad earnings. Their revenue dropped double digit. Folks are not using because Visa has been used for travel. They dropped from 207 to 175 and then back up to 197. So there's a redemption of over 25%. So for those who feel convicted buying Visa then, wouldn't you consider taking profit? The next one is DraftKings. DraftKings went from size 70, dropped all the way to 35, almost lost half its value. Now it's back up 22% of $43. So aren't you not now considering that back in Friday, you think that you bought a virus, you bought a cancerous stock, maybe you should let it go. If you think DraftKings is not something that you want to hold back Friday. So don't flip and tell yourself, no, it's going to recover because the business hasn't changed since last Friday and this, this Thursday, because COVID-19 is still here, if all the spots get cancelled, it might still go down. So think about it. The next one, Fastly, classic Fastly. Loads of people on Twitter going, on Twitter going oh my God, I held this stock. I should have let it go at 75. I should have sold it at 80. And guess what? It's actually 74, 75 today. So it recovers 17%. If it still recovers tomorrow, next week, maybe if you don't think they're great anymore, maybe take your profit or take less loss and, and move on to something more quality. And Nikola as well, another classic stock that people moan about is up 8%. Space, Virgin Galactic, is fell down so drastically, now it's up 12%. And how about Uber? Uber dropped like mad up to 30 bucks and up to, now it's up 25%, okay? Earnings looks ultimately crap. It's not great, business not great, no one's driving, regardless of people going contracting California, but still, nobody's using Uber, nobody's driving. Come on. Think about it. How about Peloton? Those who bought Peloton so high and now it dropped and it recovered back. Earnings is not great as well. So wouldn't you consider taking profit and move somewhere else? That's just me planting that seed in your head for you to have a consideration. Just to refresh what happened last Friday, lessons learned, I made notes. I hope you made notes as well. So I'm here to remind you, if you never made notes, just to sit down over a wine, glass of wine, a cup of coffee in the morning, think about it. What were you feeling on Friday? Were you feeling so regretful buying a specific stock that went down and now you've got four or five days recovery redemption? Think about letting go. I'm just saying because it goes up now. It doesn't mean it's going to go up forever. It might do, but think about the business model. It went down for a reason. Maybe perhaps it's the business, maybe perhaps it's the earnings, okay? Now let's move on to the good, the bright side, okay? I'm going to bring a few examples just to help you. You know, stocks that you think, like, oh, I missed the boat. And now it's gone up. But if it's a good company, good quality, first one is Baba, Alibaba. Great earnings, fell 10% because Jack Ma lost its IPO. Not lost, it's suspended. But what if it gets resurrected tomorrow? What's going to happen to Baba? 30% year on year revenue. Baba is great, it's cheap, it's lost 10%. I bought it myself today. How about PayPal? PayPal looks like it was a dramatic quarter and it dropped. But in fact, PayPal's quarter was good. You know, they've got Vinmo. Vinmo is regaining 60% growth. 
and that's the growth area. It might be highly overpriced, but when it was at 175, it's great. Now it's at about 190. It's not even shooting 210 now. 190, it's around about there. Remember the cryptocurrency? So it's still room for growth. Remember when it hit 210, there was a reason why it hit 210. Microsoft, Microsoft dropped all the way to 199. I don't know what reason they dropped to 199. And now they're up to 220, almost 10% again. And do you stop there? Remember, when you value Microsoft, Microsoft has bought up the Microsoft venture with Indonesia e-commerce. It's like the SEA by Indonesia version, Meli by Indonesia version. Think about it, the fundamentals of Microsoft still potentially maybe could hit 300 if everything goes well. Think about it, planting that seed in your head, McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's, COVID-19, no COVID-19. There's a McDonald's branch around my corner that opened back in February, just when it was COVID-19. Nobody, you know, no opening ceremony whatsoever. And as soon as it opens, after post-lockdown, folk, that place has been mobbed because there's no restaurant and people are going to McDonald's. So McDonald's dropped and now it's at 222, paying you dividend, you know, McDonald's. It's great stock, isn't it? Same as Costco, same as Amazon. And how about the likes of Zoom? Zoom dropped from 600 to 450, now at 500. Maybe there's still room for its earnings, for expansion. Same as Twilio, same as CrowdStrike, it's dropped, it's not even recovered to 150 yet. So what I'm trying to tell you is, we are on euphoria just now, we're all on the up, we're all happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, if you think you're still holding the cancerous stock back, you think on Friday, think about taking profit and it's your chance to move to good quality stocks because there's still chance to move to the good side. Quality stocks that have been making good earnings, quality stocks that's gonna that you buy that you you're gonna you're gonna sleep every night like a baby thinking that it's falling. Oh, I'm gonna buy more. Don't buy those stocks where you sleep at night going, why did I not sell that stock? So I'm trying to plant that seed in your head. I have gone through the emotion again and again in the last eight, nine years of my investment. And I see it because why I make notes and I remind myself when you write notes down, you can feel the emotion when you write the notes. So I'm just here representing and replicating off to everyone out there. Because if I go back and read my comment on uh, on one of my videos uh, last weekend, I could see who person that regretted buying a specific stock. Maybe if you did leave a comment, go back and read that and remind yourself whether there was any regret. But you know, if you've done your homework, if you're confident that the company will fly over, fine. As long as you've done your research, as long as you've accessed your risk and reward. This is me. This is my time's up. So hopefully see you tomorrow. And I had a couple of stocks on the cover, but I'll leave it as a surprise. And hope to click on the bell and subscribe. Hopefully you see me again for more news on the stock market. Take care. Bye.